To properly perform the wireless setup, you'll need to download the Easy Wireless Setup program from the website. Go to the website, Kyocera Document Solutions.us, and select Support. Select Download Center. Select Ecosys P2235DW from the Download Center pull down menu. Select the software and select the Wi Fi setup tool. Accept the terms and conditions if asked and press the blue download arrow on the right. Once the program is downloaded, double click on it to unzip it. Navigate to Wi Fi Setup folder and find the application named Wi Fi Setup Tool Main.exe. Follow the screen prompts. The first screen will ask if you wish to use WPS. We will be using your router for proper configuration, so select Do Not Use WPS. Press Next. You will now receive an information screen asking you to obtain your SSID, which is what your network sends out as its identity. You will also need your password for the network as well. Once you have these two pieces of information, press Next. Next, you'll be asked what method you will be using to connect. We are using the LAN or network cable as it provides the easiest setup. After installation, the cable will not be needed. Plug the network cable into the back of your router and the other end into the back of the printer. Now go back to your computer screen and make sure you've selected LAN cable. Press Next. Press Next again and then select Easy Setup. Press Next. Now look for your P2235DW printer in the list. Once you found it, select it and press Next. The program may still be searching for other printers. Once yours is located, you can continue with the installation by pressing Next. Now we will configure your printer remotely. This program communicates and will continue connection to your wireless network. Under Log On User Name, enter Admin with a capital A and lowercase d-m-i-n. Press the tab key. Now enter the password. It too is admin with a capital A. Press next. Now you will see a configuration page. Select the top entry network name SSID and type in your network name. Pay attention to upper and lower case and special characters. Make sure the name entered matches your network name exactly. Press the tab key. Network authentication is now highlighted. From the pull-down, select WPA2 slash WPAPSK. This will allow the printer to connect to just about any small or home office network. Once selected and displayed, Press the tab key. You will now see encryption displayed. Select Auto. Press the tab key. Under the pre-shared key, enter your network password. Please note it will not show the characters, so be very careful when entering this information. The password must match your network exactly. If you get an error message, recheck your password and retype it in. Once you are satisfied with the password entry, press Next to send this information to the printer. You will get a connecting message. If your SSID and password are correct, you will get a message stating, Setup complete. You should now be able to use your printer wirelessly. Remove the network cable as you no longer need it. Please go to the Setting up your printer for Windows using the KX driver or if you have a Mac computer, setting up your printer using a Mac computer.